What's up y'all, it's Akira and I'm back with another video. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked so in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to y'all the process of how to apply to McDonald's and like the process of getting hired and tips to make sure that you get hired. Another video on my channel where I just talked about the pros and cons of working at McDonald's, explain a little bit about the hiring process, tell y'all how much my first check was. I made that video, I was starting out as a crew and so now I am a part-time manager and I'm also part of the hiring staff. So take part in a big role of hiring people and paperwork and everything. I know a little bit more than what I knew in my past video. And I've been getting a lot of comments lately on my other video asking me certain questions. So I just thought that it would be a good idea to just, just to make an updated video since I know more about the hiring process. So the first thing I wanna say is that all stores, but my store in particular, we use the website mchire.com, like mchire.com. That's where you will put in your application and apply. Hire.com, it will take you through like application process directed by like an online robot named Olivia. If you have a reference, make sure that you put a reference. Um, your available start day is going to ask you your time preferences, what time you can work. And I believe it's going to ask you, are you in any activities? You know, what grade you're in, how old are you? Questions like that. Completed the application. The bot Olivia will offer you some interview times based on the store that you're applying at. List of times and dates, and you just select, you just type in what number you want, and then you show up to the store at that time. And this is how we do it at my store. We don't actually said interviews like I said you fill out your application on make hire Olivia will suggest times you pick one and you show up to the store that's how we know that we have interviews because people just walk in and tell us that they're there for an interview so next okay you show up to the store at the time of your first interview so you don't you don't have to show up in like a suit in the tie or a dress but you do want to dress appropriately like for instance I've seen people show up in like slides and socks i've seen people show up like sagging guys i've seen some guys dressed up like they were going out for a night out like don't do that you don't have to be all dressed up like formal or fancy but just wear some nice jeans you know try to have no ribs a nice shirt and you know some appropriate shoes you don't have to be dressed fancy but you want to be dressed appropriate you know you want to be dressed presentable like you actually want the job so during the interview you know they're going to ask you um a couple of questions you know different variations whatever the questions are you just want to make sure that you take your time to think about your answers tip you want to elaborate on your answers so don't give too little always give more explanation and just talk about your answer more than giving too little. Also want to speak loud and clear and keep a nice smile. You will be nervous, cause trust me, I was nervous and I still get nervous for like even doing interviews sometimes. It's just who I am. Fake it till you make it. Try your best to just appear confident. Make sure you keep eye contact and just elaborate on all of your answers. Okay, so at my store, we have more than one hiring manager. So it's me, um the assistant of my store and then the gm like down below them so what i do is i do the first interview so if you schedule your interview on mckire you come to the store based on the time that you selected i will be the person to do the first interview so i'll ask you the interview questions and if i like you if i like your answers and i feel like you will be a good fit for the team then i will refer that person to my GM. GM is the one who does the second interview and she makes the final decision. Get her schedule and figure out what's best for the applicant and her a good time for them to both meet up. So they go through probably the same interview questions and then she makes the final decision. So she lets me know if she wants, if she hired them or not and then I go ahead and do the rest of the process with the paperwork, orientation and training. So if she hires a minor, the first thing we have to do is give them a worker's permit. So 
we're gonna give you a paper that you get signed by your parent or your guardian and once you get it signed by our guardian you bring it to either your school or your school board and this is only if you're a minor so 17 or younger so you bring it to either your school or a school board and they give you a separate workers permit and you want to make sure to bring both of those pages back or at least the workers permit back you know it's different at every store so bring that back before you start working because you cannot start as a minor if we don't have the workers permit first you know obviously for legal reasons after the applicant brings me back the workers permit i set them up for paperwork so whenever you come in for paperwork you know you sign um certain documents whenever you come for paperwork my store requires that you bring either an id or license and a social security card we don't really require the birth certificate just the ID, our license, and social security card. So those are the three items that you want to bring. Places do require a birth certificate, but like I said, they they should let you know that. Like to make hire before you come in for paperwork, we send something called onboarding forms that you should complete before you come in for paperwork. So it's just like more in depth detail about the applicant and like tax information that they have to fill out on their own. It'll be in the online system for whenever you start working. So you wanna finish your, complete your onboarding forms. Like I said, the hiring manager should send that to you on make hire before you come in for your paperwork. During your paperwork, so you're going to sign the documents that we provide, you should also be getting your orientation date and your training dates. Okay, so at my store, the training schedule is for four hour training days. For example, if a person is in school, like it's a minor, so after school, I could train them from five to 9 p.m., four to 8 p.m. If they're not a minor, I could train them from like one to 5 p.m. or seven to 11 in the morning. It just all depends on the age and like their availability. And then for the next week that you're on the schedule, you should have like regular normal hours you know longer shifts different variations of hours orientation is of course going to be set up before you start training during orientation at my store we have these orientation packets so we just go through the orientation packets with you it provides you information about the store um dress code how to set up your instant pay card you also get paid on instant we introduce you to people walk you around the store show you different workstations and we also get your time punch. So your thumbprint is what you use to clock in and clock out on the machine on the wall to clock in and out for breaks. Station at my store, you can wear regular clothes. You don't have to be in your uniform. Is that during orientation, you usually will receive your uniform, which is two crew shirts. If you're working for service, you'll receive a visor. If you're working for grill, you'll receive a grill cap and an apron. So that's your complete uniform. And then it'll be it'll be the applicant's job to buy some black not slip shoes, which you can find at Walmart, and some black work pants. You will also receive your pay card. As I said, we get paid on instant is at other places but you can get paid directly to your bank account you have to get paid through the instant pay card but the good thing about instant you can transfer your money from instant to your bank account you just have to link your bank account to your card the instant pay card comes with an app so you'll be able to navigate through the app and see that option well, another pro about instant is that you can get paid half of what you made the day prior the next day like for example if i worked yesterday if i made a hundred dollars yesterday the next day at 10 a.m it would give me the option to take out fifty dollars if i wanted to now you don't have to press the button in the middle and take it out you can just leave it alone but if you do take the money out just know that it comes out of your check so whenever you get your final check i don't check the next two weeks just know that it will be missing fifty dollars because you already took it out early but it does come in handy in case you need like quick money or like if a bill is due so hopping back into training so if you are a service person and you're training for those four days you might train one day at the window which is where where we call it the hole that's where like or the the second window i guess you could say that's where you hand out the food and drinks one day you can train at the first window or in back drive that's where the customers pay for their order and you cash them out 
you can train on front register in the lobby area and taking orders. If you're working for a grill, one day you might train on grill, which is like dropping the meat and picking it up. Or you might train on table the next day, which is actually us making the sandwiches. After you're done training, you should have regular shifts. And then the shifts should be posted in the crew room. It's gonna be on the paper. And you just read your name and read across. And then you'll see all the hours that you work. But the hours are in military time, so you might have to just get used to that. Okay, so that's basically the whole hiring process. So I'm just gonna like recap. So you apply on McHire. Olivia will suggest you um, interview times for you to come in and have your first interview. Whenever you have one, like I said, all stores don't do two interviews like us. So whenever you have your interview, if you have two interviews, person will set you up with someone higher. You will have a second interview with them and they'll tell you if you're hired or not. Or sometimes you just have one interview and they just hire you on the spot. Hired, they will set you up with paperwork. If you're a minor, they'll give you a worker's permit. If you're not, you'll just get set up straight with paperwork. If you're a minor, once you bring the worker's permit back, they'll set you up for the actual day for paperwork. If you're not a minor, you know, you'll just go straight into paperwork. Paperwork process member, bring either your your ID, license, social security card. Paperwork, you're going to receive your orientation date when to go back to the store for orientation and your training dates when you actually start. And you know, just show up for orientation dressed appropriately or in your uniform, depending on what the store wants. And then just make sure to return back for your actual start date in your full uniform, have your black non-slip shoes and your black pants. And once you're done with your training days, just remember to check the schedule for the following week to see your regular shifts. That was the whole hiring process. Now we're gonna get into pros and cons. So one of the pros about working at McDonald's is that you have a really flexible schedule. Especially like if you're in school and you do sports or if you have like another job. It's so easy to find like different shifts to give people that have to be accommodated. Second pro is that it is easy to request off. Okay, so I know at some places, I think I heard like Walmart is like, I think they get a certain amount of request off days. If I'm not mistaken, I'm probably wrong. But I know that it is kind of harder to get off. And if like you miss a day of work or like if you call out and you don't have like a good reason, you get like these points at it. And if you reach a certain points, I believe you could get fired. But at McDonald's, you know, we have request off. She's posted in the crew room. Just try to request off at least two weeks or more in advance. You just write your name and write your reason under the date. It's like you have so many employees at most McDonald's. It's easy to actually get the request off days that you want it. Pro is that you get one free meal a day a place if you come into work you know on time if you had good behavior and you were in full uniform you can either get a meal whenever it's time for you to leave or whenever you go on break you get a free meal another pro is that you can get the employee discount on the mcdonald's app i personally i don't really use the mcdonald's app but i've seen other people do it like they've given me a code or i scan the barcode and it will take a percentage off of their order, you know, just because they're a McDonald's employee. So I guess you just have to go through the app and find that. The next pro that I have is that you can easily work your way up to a higher position. For example, I started working at McDonald's in 2018, I believe in 2018, and I became a shift manager in 2021. And for you're a good worker, if you look like you could be a leader, it's really easy to achieve higher positions and increase your wages at McDonald's. The last pro that I have is tuition assistance. So, you know, if you're um, in a community college or at a university, you can apply for tuition assistance. I think there are some um, eligibility requirements. You just have to go on mcdonaldsarchways.com, I believe it's what it's still called, McDonald's Archways, and you can just read about how to apply and the eligibility. They could give you anywhere from like $1,500 to $3,000. I believe it's like per academic school year. 
and then the if you get approved for it the check goes straight to your school and if you know the school doesn't use it all they'll give it back and refund check but they don't really mail you an actual check they mail it straight to the school and, you know the school applies it to your tuition but I have used it before and it was very helpful for me and my tuition next we're gonna get into the cons I only have three cons listed it's not really a lot of cons it's like some big ones that you just have to kind of learn to deal with first con is of course the rude customers you already know I was gonna say that but you'll get rude people at every job sometimes you'll get rude co-workers but rude customers is like one of my biggest cons and pet peeves because a lot of times they don't really understand what's going on in the background they look at like oh you made a mistake or oh they're taking so long but they don't actually always know what's actually going on like in the inside like they won't really understand unless they work there you know if you ever worked in retail or fast food you get to see everything that's going on and like why you made the mistake or why y'all going slow you know you could be short staff remember one day we were short staff like three people and it was rough but you know the customers won't understand that we was trying our best you know we was running around but sometimes people just don't understand that and they aren't as compassionate so you just have to kind of learn how to just kill them with kindness i know it's really hard to do so just kill them with kindness the mood and don't let them ruin your whole shift the next con is that rushes can be exhausting. When I say rushes, I'm talking about like after school rushes, after church rushes, morning rushes, you know, going to school. Anytime that you just have like a large amount of customers at once, you know, in your lobby, in your drive through you just packed. Line is to the road. So that's the only con is that it can be really exhausting trying to get food out in a timely manner. Making all the orders when the order is full, making all the drinks, you got fried paste on your screen, you got iced coffees, you have mochas, you have shakes, you have like flurries on your screen. You know, it's really exhausting. So just as long as you and your team work as a team, as long as you just stay focused and you know that, okay, we have to get this done. You know, the sooner I get these orders out, the sooner it'll all be over. So just stay focused and just try to multitask to the best of your ability. That's kind that I have is that um, at most places, McDonald's positions are usually part-time mostly, but a few people could, you know, you could potentially be full-time if that's what you ask for, if they can accommodate that. I know at my store, most positions are not full-time. They're usually part-time. So there's a, a lot of instances where you won't reach 40 hours unless you're like a manager or something because there's just so many there's a lot of employees so you can't guarantee that all of them will get 40 hours so that's a con because if you have like a lot of hefty bills kind of harder for you to make enough money to pay your bills if you're not getting the full time hours all right y'all so that was it for today's video and like i said some of the things that I explained is just how it goes on in my store. It should be similar to the process in other stores, but it's just how we do it in my store. Yeah, y'all, that was it for today's video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll, I'll try to reply as fast as I can. I hope y'all enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute. Since we last kicked